Aloha, it's Kanaka Yab Yab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. May Mizuno has been appointed as a new District 29 state representative for Kamehameha Heights, Kalihi Valley. Mizuno succeeds her husband, John Mizuno, who was named the Coordinator on Homelessness by Governor Josh Green in December. May Mizuno was among three people nominated to fill the vacancy. Edgar Fernandez, Program Specialist for the State Workforce Development Division, and Hernando Tan, former president of the Unite Here Local 5 Hotel Workers Union, were also nominated. Mizuno has been her husband's office manager for 17 years and follows a recent trend of office managers rising into a higher position. During Tuesday's appointment at the state capitol, Mizuno said she plans to prioritize affordable housing, health care, and crime this legislative session. A 37-year-old woman was killed today in a pedestrian collision on Kahikili Highway in Kahalu'u. Honolulu police said a pickup truck driven by a 67-year-old man was traveling east on the highway when it struck the pedestrian at about 5.10 this morning. Police said the woman appears to have been in the roadway outside of a marked crosswalk. Honolulu Emergency Medical Services responded and paramedics assisted in pronouncing the woman dead at the scene of the collision. The motorist was not injured and remained at the scene. Speed, drugs and alcohol do not appear to be factors in the collision. It is Oahu's second traffic fatality for 2024. There were two traffic fatalities on the island at the same time in 2023. An American woman who pleaded guilty to helping kill her own mother and stuffing the body in a suitcase during a vacation in Bali was sentenced today. Heather Mack received 26 years in prison for conspiring with her boyfriend to kill Sheila Von Weiss Mack in 2014 to gain access to a $1.5 million trust fund. Prosecutors said Mack, who was 18 and pregnant at the time, covered her mother's mouth while Tommy Schaefer bludgeoned her with a fruit bowl in a hotel room. Video evidence showed the couple trying to get a small suitcase containing Wise Mac's body into an Indonesian taxi cab. In 2015, Mac was convicted in Indonesia of being an accessory to her mother's murder and served seven years of a 10-year sentence. Schaefer was convicted of murder and is serving an 18-year sentence in Indonesia. Two hikers who were rescued from Mauna Loa on Monday have been cited for hiking without a permit. Officials from the National Park Service said a man and woman got lost during severe winter weather that had closed the summit. The pair called 911 Sunday morning to report that they were out of food and water and that their phones were running out of power. A helicopter pilot deployed with a search and rescue ranger on board and found the uninjured couple on a slope at an elevation of about 11,000 feet. Rescuing the pair by helicopter was determined to be too risky, so the ranger gave the couple food, water, and a satellite communication device and instructions on how to hike out on their own. But later that afternoon, the hiker said they had lost the trail near in the foul weather. The helicopter then returned to extracted the couple on Monday. Hawaii's wet and windy weather is expected to improve today. The National Weather Service predicts a weakening cold front to stall out and dissipate over the eastern end of the state. A high wind warning is still in effect for the summits of the Big Island and Haleakala on Maui through 6 this evening. Meanwhile, a high surf advisory is in place for the north shores of Kauai County, Oahu, Moloka'i, Maui, and the west shores of Kauai, Oahu, Moloka'i, and the Big Island through 6 Thursday evening. A west-northwest swell will build today, boosting surf to 15 and 20 feet for north-facing shores and 12 to 16 feet for west-facing shores. Looking ahead, forecasters expect mostly dry weather from Thursday through early next week. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.